Hello guys, Shubham here, back again. So in the last video, I showed you that how you can easily install Android 13 on your Poco F1, which is the latest from Google. That an official ROM was from the iOS community itself, and now we are going to see that how actually this ROM is. After a week of usage, here comes the complete review of the Android 13 fresh out of the box from the iOS community. So here is my review for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see how well this ROM is working and as if we can use it as a daily driver. So let's get into it. Now let's first jump into the system information. At the very first time as we usually do moving towards the settings and about one section you can see this is the easter egg of android 13 or tiramisu. Uh, kind of funky though. Tapping on 13 you will get some different types of pattern which are some emojis of google keyboard. Moving further you will get the latest security patch of 5th of august 2022 and a kernel version that is of electropuff. Pretty much good and pretty much obvious as it's an official rom. Now moving forward to the Android 13 features. Tapping long on home screen you will get some widgets. These widgets are somehow same as Android 12 but this is something new which is called as the battery widget where you will get all the stats of where your battery is getting consumed. It takes some time to reconfigure as uh, it configures your battery first. Moving further you will also get some clock widgets in which they have added these two new type of widgets. Tapping on it and drag it to the home screen you will get this widget on your home screen and yes you are good to go to configure what type of background you want that's a solid or a transparent one. I have set a solid one as per my preference and let's just have some small setup of how you can set up this thing. So now as per my preferences I have just took the android 12 customized clock widget and selected the first pattern and boom. This look pretty much amazing and good for appearance too. Moving further, you will get other customization that is a display and the lock screen section where you can now actually change the kind of interface you get on the lock screen clock that is double line clock or a single line clock. So this is a single line clock uh, because of the notification on the lock screen you cannot see that. But once the notification is gone you can actually distinguish there is a single line and a double line clock so that is pretty much good. Moving further, this is something like now playing but uh, in this ROM it's not working so that's disabled. Moving further, you will also get some customizations regarding wallpaper and style where you will get a whole lot of options. Deemed icons where you will get your icons deemed and also a whole lot of colors regarding customization. They have included a color palette which is pretty much dynamic and you will have an immersive experience all over the interface. So these are some small small tweaks which are worthy of noticing and once you notice it you, your eyes will just get rejoiced with the freshness you get on your device. Moving further, this is something huge update that is a music visualizer where you can just set this thing uh, about uh, how to play this song. This you get in Android 12 also but just, just look at that UI it's so amazing and so fresh. Some kind of tweaks are done in it and it looks pretty much dynamic and pretty much good. So that's another feature. Overall there are not much changes but the internal and small changes which are worth noticing are something which are really really good in Android 13 and you will actually love it as you use it and you notice it as you get along. Now let's play some games that is gaming performance. So it might sound little hilarious but yeah as this is the vanilla rom it doesn't have any type of game mode or a gaming mode in it. Um, also it's an official build so pretty much obvious for that. But still let's test our game that is the BJM and see how well we get the footage. Now jumping directly to the, our gameplay here we go. So as you can see I was playing BJMI on high settings and while playing I didn't face any type of lag issue or stuttering. This is the footage which I played that is the arena gameplay and uh, I haven't faced any type of issues even I played some 2 to 3 gameplays and yeah in terms of gameplay also Android 13 nails up and this is actually pretty much good and nice. 
Now let's talk about the real business that is battery performance. So battery performance of Android 13 as many of the reports and many of the news articles says that they have actually improved the way the battery performance is served in Android 13 and that's somehow true because uh, the charge you will get after you charge the 100% you can go along a day and a half. This is my personal experience so yeah in terms of battery Android 13 is pretty much optimized for all type of applications. And if you are a normal user and don't play much of games, you can go a day long once you charge to about 98 to 99 percent. So yeah, in terms of battery too, Android 13 nails it and it's perfectly fine and you can use without any issues. Banking applications are important. So let's see if the safety net check bypass can be done or not. So as this is the unofficial build, you can actually have your safety net check bypass without any issues and you can use all your payment application and banking applications without any issues or, or explicitly rooting your device in Android 13. So that's pretty much good. Let's snap some pictures that is Gcam compatibility. So in this ROM you will get the stock camera which you get in all the other ROMs since Android 10 that is the very basic google camera which you can hardly use for shooting videos and shooting some photos but there's no need to worry as you will get the proper full-fledged gcam of version 8.2 to get to know how you can install that camera on your device just look at the video pinned in description and also in the i button where i have shown how you can easily install the latest gcam where you will get all the video shooting options such as 30 to 60 fps in FHD and 4K. Thanks to the Snapdragon chipset that we can actually shoot the 4K videos on Poco F1 being so old phone. So yeah in terms of that you can have your Gcam compatibility with Android 13 and you are all good to go. Privacy concerns are legit so let's see about security. So moving towards the security, you will get all these latest security patches and Google Play security update. But talking about the security of your phone, then you will get a fingerprint unlock. You will not get the face unlock as they haven't configured it yet. So that's something lacking. Moving further, you will also get to enhance your sound via Mi Sound Enhancer or which is also called as Direct Sound Enhancer. You can play all type of music as per your preference of equalizer and also choose the headphones and the preset you want. Moving further this is something coming in android 13 that is clear your speaker. On which you will get a quite sneezing sound and which actually says that it will clean your speaker. So that's something weird but it might be useful so yeah in terms of sound and security that's all you get in android 13. Now let's talk about some numbers that is Antutu scores. So talking about the Antutu scores then you will get a full fledged Antutu score of unbelievable mark that is 3,93,154. So this is something huge as everyone knows in Android 12 ROMs the score usually lies in 32, 33 or max to max 34. But in this it's something increased thanks to the CPU which we get that is the Snapdragon 845 and also some other benchmark which makes android 13 so much compatible with so old phone and it's working super smooth and fine with such numbers so yeah this is the antutu benchmark for people who really want to see this now it's time for concluding this so these are my remarks or you can say my honest review for this rom so to be honest this is the unofficial build from the ios community and I was not expecting this much from the unofficial build but they actually did a good work and kudos to them. The kind of features, customizations and everything they have packed in this unofficial build is really really good and amazing. The kind of stability, smoothness and fluidness they are offering is off the charts. And no one would believe that this is not an official build. It works perfectly fine and all the Android 13 features are working super smooth and stable. No doubt you can actually use this ROM as a daily driver and for my side you can just download this ROM and flash it without any issues and use it. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you again in the next one. Peace out.